lovelies and welcome to another video. Today's one is highly anticipated. I actually don't think I've pretty much ever received as many requests to do a video like this one. Ever since I arrived in Paris, which is now like a month and a half ago, you guys asked me to see the apartment. When I moved in, the apartment was pretty much like all the basic stuff were here, like the furniture and stuff like that. But ever since I arrived, obviously I had to get a lot of more furniture i didn't do kind of like a boom boom pack unpack do everything it took me a while to settle i thought now could be an okay time to do a little apartment tour and i say okay time not a good time because actually i wouldn't say that everything is really like sorted you know paris is kind of like a new territory for me if i if i lived in england i would kind of know exactly where i go to get what how to who to call for what but in paris i really don't when you're watching this i'm probably going to be already returning from holidays we're going on holidays tomorrow and i just wanted to film this before i go but at the same time i didn't want to pack etc etc i don't want to bore you with that let's go and i'm gonna start from the entrance door and show you everything as it is i decided to start showing you from when you enter the home there is a sort of like a large open kitchen area here and keep in mind since I'm going away tomorrow there's a lot of stuff that I had to put here that I just didn't want in the space of showing you the apartment like the suitcases stuff like that and then a lot of stuff that I'm shooting for the next few days but anyway ignore all of that we'll start with the kitchen you guys actually have seen good part of the kitchen in my uh, what I eat in the day video. I really love this kitchen because it's quite clean, it's quite modern and uh, I never cook so it doesn't really matter what it is, right? I mean, so rarely, like porridge or what else do I cook? Coffee. Technical question. How do you know when uh, the butter is done? Well, it's done about two minutes before it looks like that. And then there's some storage, ignore this like rubbish things. I guess I really did not prepare perfectly for this video, but you guys wanted to see it, so I told the truth you. Also, like one thing that I really love here is um, that I always look at the neighbors across whenever I'm doing something, like when I'm preparing, I don't know, coffee and stuff like that. So this is the dining table. It was amazing, amazing, amazing when we had a pizza night. We had over Senia and Jurgen, Geraldine and David and Matthias. And it was so nice, had so many pizzas, and it was like all the pizzas here, and we were just sitting and eating. I loved it, really, really loved it. Then there's some storage here for the plates and things like that, like I don't know, important stuff, right? But to be honest, I um, I really want to buy some really, really nice plates. I've shown you this before as well. It's nothing really that exciting, um, but I know exactly what I want. I just need to find it. And now we come to probably my favorite room of the house. When it comes to the living room, I love it so much because it's like the typical French vibe. I love the fireplace. One thing that's very interesting to me is that fireplaces are illegal in Paris. I don't know if it's in whole France, but in Paris for sure. I was like wondering if you can burn, like, you know, if you can have the fire, but you can't. However, I still love this fireplace. I think it's so beautiful. Took no more selfies here. I love the mirror. It's so pretty and um, I don't know, just really, really makes me happy. Also, another reason why I love, 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 love. I'm going to be in a contra light, but guys, ladies and gentlemen, I present you. Whenever my friends come, they all want to come to the balcony. Yeah, this is the famous Jardin de Palais Royal. So we have Palais Royal and we have a Louvre right there. There basically, kind of. And um, it's just really, really amazing for me because I have everything that I want here. The most incredible thing about this balcony is that you can like sit, read, work, have your morning coffee, reflect. I don't know, I really love it. By the way, I'm scared of heights, but I'm sitting here because there's something here. So don't worry about it. But I really, 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 really love having this balcony because it's just so perfect when you have guests over, when you have friends over, like chatting here, sitting here. It's pretty priceless and it's pretty long, long balcony because this balcony is in living room but also in the bedrooms so that's new and welcome back 
So now that you understand the kind of floor plan of the body of the apartment, I would say that from living room there are two bedrooms. They're basically all together three bedrooms and three bathrooms. And from the living room you have two bedrooms. So let's go to one that I sleep in. I think you've seen this in many stories before. I'm not sure, like, I believe so. But this is, as, as they would say in the MTV Cribs, this is where the magic happens or something like that. This is the bed that I sleep in. And also I would say the bedroom with probably the most storage space that I'm not really gonna show you, but it's not ready yet. You have seen the shoe storage. Some of you have asked me if I would be interested in placing shoes like this because I would get more space. And to be honest, it's a very good idea. But for some reason, I always put the shoes like this because I like to see them all. And I think you've seen most of these shoes, except from these. No one has seen these yet. These new Amina Wadi purple ones. Look, they're actually matchy matchy. I'm loving purple lately. I will link them below because I think they're so beautiful and they're the latest shoes in my collection. I keep the heels here. I have most of the flats here, like as you guys see, it's kind of sandals and I just put them like this. So every time I wear them, I pick a pair. I'm not gonna show you what's in here because it's not organized yet. It's mainly like underwear, belts, accessories, things like that. It's just another fireplace. It's like usually I burn candles here because I quite like the candle light. I have a little pot here with um, jewelry because I really need to find a way to organize everything, but that takes a long time. So also my hat, my new hat that you guys could see lives here. Some of my bags have found their home here. Not all of them, but some are here because this is also quite easy when I'm trying on outfits because actually the long mirror is here, which I will show you in a second. But first things first, I don't know if I should open this, it's not the tidiest of all, but I have a lot of storage space. As you can see, some stuff are still in the boxes, uh, but I have one wardrobe here. This is mainly evening dresses and homeware. By homeware, I mean dresses. <laughs> Pangaya basically and then here have some other stuff and on top as well kind of like every day over here is the master bathroom and the bathroom that I get ready in and all of that stuff so come in love it I don't know if you're a person that likes to have this space where you get ready tidy you're gonna have a heart attack now you know because I'm not your girl but most of my makeup and stuff is on top skincare. Then I also keep a lot of stuff in the little drawers. I don't know, like all sorts of things. I'm yet to try this summer Vita deep cleansing mask. I have my Dennis Gross like uh, Alpha Beta feels, like all of the makeup, the kind of classic stuff, my travel stuff as well. It's all in here. What else have we got? A bathtub, a shower. I am a shower girl kind of girl however what i need for sure is i need more <laughs> i need more of the like shower shelves which i'm not sure where to get because i checked in ikea and they didn't have anything that i needed and this is certainly not enough but i'm currently using this dior dior balade sauvage shower gel i'm loving it i will link it below and also i recently received this uh, Maison Kitsune Shoe and Mura cleansing oil for removing makeup. You guys know I've always before used the Clinique one, but I ran out of it and the this one is insane. I love it so much. So that's always in my shower. In case you're wondering what's in here, it's a bathrobe. I normally use it, but now it's like so clean and nicely folded on a hanger that I just, I felt like, oh my god, this is so fancy, I need to show it to you. So my long, long, long mirror is here. This is where I look at myself when I'm getting dressed, when I'm getting ready, I'm like, oh my god, do I like this outfit, do I not like this outfit? That's the master bedroom, let's go. And just to give you another overview of the living room, it's here. And I love this view, when I wake up in the morning and I come here and all the light comes through the balcony, I'm so happy, oh yeah. Let's go to this, this bedroom. A lot of you have asked me why do I need three bedrooms and by living with other people, like the like housemates kind of thing. It's not that. It's just that I really like this apartment when I found it. Even if I had two bedrooms, I would really, it would be enough. But I can't be in just one bedroom because I need one room to be like an office or maybe like storage and stuff like that. 
So very often I get like samples and things like that, and then it all like revolves. So we have some new stuff here, basically for shooting. And it's quite nice to not keep it in my bedroom, if you know what I mean. And now the second bathroom. I actually a little bit prefer this bathroom. It's smaller. I don't know why I prefer it, but I do. However, I don't really use it except for storing luggage. It's kind of like a guest bathroom, so we got our um, like amenities for the guests. But as you can see, it's still unboxed because I haven't had any guests in here. I love it that it's white marble, and I really, really like this shower. But the same problem with this shower. It doesn't have... I love the tiles. The tiles are so beautiful, as you can see. But it also doesn't have much storage when it comes to like putting all the beauty stuff, which... I need desperately. And one thing that I mentioned from pretty much my bedroom and this bedroom, you can get out on the balcony, which is also really nice as you get like really nice morning light um, here, but just, you know, if you like to. Here we have it covered with a um, washer and dryer. And this is amazing because wash, dry, done, buy, you know? And it's just very, very quick. But over here, Guys, are you ready? It's currently becoming my favorite part of this apartment. I didn't think it would be like that at all because Remember in the last vlog I told you that I don't like to work where it's not like downstairs kind of because I feel secluded I'm not sure what's going on downstairs But actually it's so much better to work being secluded because then you really work and you're not distracted by everything that's going on here So it's kind of my workspace upstairs, but I have not really developed it into a proper office So that's yet to happen. That's why the space is not fully done but I really want to show you. So there's my yoga mat here because I'm like such a, you know, <laughs> such a yogi. <laughs> Come on. So the third bedroom is here. And actually this bedroom is like looking at the opposite side of the street. So it does not have the balcony kind of thing, but it has like a really beautiful Parisian windows. And I really like it because I open a window here, get some fresh air. And I work in honestly like what's my favorite work corner. I love it so much. I have everything that I need here, my computer, my like planners, my weekly planner, like some inspiration. I love this desk so much and honestly, I'm so happy I found it and I kind of you guys really inspired me to go for the glass desk and I thought I was gonna get so annoyed because you know you get like fingertips and stuff like that but for me this is the desk that I really really enjoy working in and I plan on also kind of decorating this bit behind me it's like an amazing storage space but it's a little bit basic traditionally this is a bedroom and one that I really like I particularly love these um, bedside tables that they are like kind of minimalist gold but graphic I quite like them and then over here, I also like this corner. So I even put at one point, I love these panels. I think they are so super cool, but I love this corner. And at one point I thought maybe I could create a little filming area from here because I get a direct natural light. It's a good corner. I also really like this corner because I like the industrial vibe of this rail. And then we have like a gold mirror there. We have these paintings, which seem like to be uh, oil on paper, quite like that. Um, then you know like this little corner I even thought maybe I could create something here like a little filming corner if we have some guests they can use the bed sleep here because there's also a toilet here I think this is the smallest toilet but maybe I don't know I really enjoy it because it has natural light it's so rare to have natural light in in the bathroom you know and I really like it. It's very simple, little, like, just, you know, what you need. The shower is black, but I think it's very cool and very, very relaxing. So, yeah. And for me, that I'm using it as, like, a little office space is just so amazing because um, I have everything that I need on this floor without distractions and without having to run downstairs all the time. That is basically it when it comes to this apartment. I really love it and I feel like I really found myself what for me is the most important thing is that it's a close to my friends so I'm we're in the first around this mall and we're super close to 
my friend Xenia, like five minute walk from each other. I am close to all the like shops, all the meetings, all the brands, and never even thought about how useful coming to Paris would be for my job. So that's really proving the, like incredible so far. So I'm really enjoying it. And I mean, I would love to have you all for, you know, here to stay, but you'll probably see much more in the vlogs, how everything is developing. I'm super curious to hear what is your favorite corner of this apartment, because for me, it's very hard to decide. For the longest time I thought that my favorite was this, because this is where I watch all of my movies, the shows, the YouTube, I sit, I read, I click through the magazines, I like to get inspired, but then now that I have a little office space, I'm really enjoying spending time upstairs. So it is tough call, but I'm happy that you came to visit me, that I could show you the apartment. Let me know what you think and I'll see you very soon. Bye guys!